Hey, what's up, guys? Jigger, welcome back to Auto Cannibalism Simulator 2019. We're hanging out in some room with a woman who can hypnotize people with her voice, and we're gonna find out about her whole tragic backstory. So let's get going. When she first realized this was happening, she tried to quit the band, presumably her magic hypnosis voice. Even if she couldn't, she at least wanted to stop doing the live shows where people heard her directly. But the others around her wouldn't let that happen. Your voice is amazing, they would tell her. That forced her to keep singing, even as the concerts began to, began to terrify her. You know, just because people say you should do something, you don't actually have to do it, lady. I don't know how to break that to you. Takayangi tried to get out of it, but in the end, she kept giving in. Takayangi? Yeah, I nailed it the first time. She showed her fellow band members for getting a plain, dull girl like her into music. And for a while, part of her managed to have fun. Well, that's good, but in the end, it didn't even matter. Takianagi lacked the tiny bit of courage needed to break out of the cycle. <sighs> yeah, big same, dude. She forced herself to get up and head towards the street concert, which she didn't really want to do. Mm -hmm. Anyways, then she got a text. She'd received an email. I'll go fuck myself, it was an email. Because it's the 90s. She read it slowly. Great, thank you for describing how she Oops. read it. I'm so immersed. Yes, I too am surprised by emails. She almost dropped her smartphone. She read it again and again, trying to control her shaking hands. It was nothing special, just a simple message about one of the songs she'd made. But why is she shaking? That's weird. Good song! Keep it up! Yeah, I see, that is a scary message. I'd be shaking, too. <gasps> yeah, and... Yes way. It's not really that surprising. People can email you about anything, really. Takinagi tried to stop the tears, but couldn't. The band would get too many messages like this to count, especially after concerts. I don't understand how this is concerning. It's fine. When you do a concert and it's good, people will be like, Hey, good concert. She knew it was rude, but to be honest, she was sick of them. But this email address wasn't for her band. It was one for a site where she had anonymously uploaded original songs. Okay? In other words, whoever sent this message hadn't come to her concerts. They'd never heard her voice live or felt its strange power. So they just liked her music. That's nice, I guess. But they still said they liked their song. Her song, whatever. Yeah, I know. Maybe you're not a talentless hack after all. Wiping away tears that wouldn't stop, she quickly wrote a response. That makes me really happy. Thank you. Even after she sent it, she kept crying for a while. We're really hitting the ground running with this girl. She hadn't cried this much since the earthquake. And then she stood up. Okay. Okay. Cool. She took her costumes for the day's concert out of her bag, balled them up, and threw them in the trash. Don't. Someone probably worked really hard on those. You should be respectful. It was a white caped outfit worn by some angel character in some anime. Certain fans really loved it, but she didn't care about it at all. Clearly. She took a wet towel off a nearby table and violently wiped away her makeup. Okay. Don't you have a show to do? Or did you already do it? I don't remember. Okay. Cool. She was never wearing another cape or putting on makeup to look like an anime character again. The end. Never, she said aloud. She realized she was more excited than she'd ever been before. Then she started to realize what she wanted to do. Oh. Man, she's making a lot of snap decisions based on an email. Like, I mean, sure, I've made decisions based on emails, but this one seems really fast. What would happen if she was going to quit the band? Nothing, it's a band. It's fine. It caused trouble for a lot of people. Like, however many people are in her band. Her band was scheduled to play in the Restoration Festival. But even so, she never wanted to sing at another concert. Oh yeah, that's the spirit. Without makeup, she's basically wearing a disguise. Yeah, good stuff. She laughed and kissed her smartphone. That's not weird. Yes, I too like kissing my smartphone. It is such fun. Anyways, she couldn't wait to get home and start fiddling with her music. Over the web, she could really share her music with others. Wow, the internet, what will they think of next? As long as they weren't hearing her voice live, it would be fine. If she just played a recording from a speaker, for example... Yeah, what is your point? That's right! She'd leave Shibuya when she had a few more songs, she could record them and play them at a street concert. That speaker was small enough she could fit it under her clothes to fool people? It can't possibly be that small. It'd be rude to do the same song every time, so each time she'd re-record it at home. Oh no! They're gonna make her eat her arm or something. Something bad's about to happen. There was a knock at the door. 
One of the staffers, maybe? Please don't make her eat herself. I, that was, like, that was a fun joke the first time. But this girl's nice. She smiled and answered them. Now that she'd thrown away her clothes, her bag was lighter than she'd ever imagined it could be. I pray to God she's actually wearing other clothes, though. That lightness made her think about the future. She was happy. Not for much longer, I reckon. Yeah. Hi, hi. Okay, cool, cool. Don't, I wouldn't answer that, actually. You can probably just go back home. Do you see this border? That means it's not good. Taki and Nagi happily danced towards the door, completely ignorant of what was on the other side. A salesman. Oh, heaven. Or maybe just a bunch of white stuff. Anyways, then she died, probably. That's pretty sad. Anyways. September 19th, 2015, Friday night. I don't remember what day that last day was, so we'll assume this is later. A week later. Shortly after she finished, she was walking through Shibuya. Okay, don't love this sound effect, but cool, cool. She had a limp and dragged one leg behind her as if it was injured. Was it injured? Why else would she do that? Her bangs were unnaturally long. Most of her face was covered by them. She wore a dark colored dress that seemed to melt into the night, and above it, a bright red cardigan. Why is she doing this thing? Is this her same girl? Her chest, arms, and legs were almost completely covered. Despite the fact that the night was still warm, she wore gloves as if it were a sin to show any skin at all. Oh, cool. Oh, woman! Good. She ran into a couple coming out of a hotel and staggered slightly. Is this her? This doesn't look... Well... Okay, I don't know what our girl looked like, but this doesn't look like her, right? But she didn't even look at the people she ran into. Okay, rude. She looked down and disappeared into the streets of Shibuya. Cool. Thrilling. This isn't a man, this is a camera. Nice try. I'm not an idiot. No, she had long bangs, remember? Because she was sad. Or scary. Or both. Okay, that's a little mean, but fine. I'll allow it. Okay, now you're actually just being straight up mean to this woman. Can you not? Like, don't, don't be mean. She's probably nice. Anyways, what the fuck is happening now? Why are these words melting? Oh good, we quick saved. That's a relief. And we got an achievement, because I'm very good at this game. Anyways, now we're going to do a slow pan. Man, this has been a roller coaster of an episode. Nothing's fucking happened. We've skipped characters, I think? Unclear, honestly. Anyways, then we're typing. I know, I'm bored too, dude. For example, what? Let's say you asked a kid in, the, in middle school, do you know what Schrodinger's cat is? Most would say yes, or I've heard of it. Would they? In middle school? I mean, I'm inclined to say no, but I'm not in middle school. What do I know? Maybe kids these days are smart. We'll start by eliminating the DQNs who say they've never heard of it. Digital. Quite. Natives. Next you ask, well, what is it? What was it? Excuse me. Next, we eliminate those poor fools who said it's something about a cat in a box, right? There's this cat, but you don't know if it's alive or dead, right? I mean, technically correct, but... Or maybe they say there's a cat in a box, and next to it there's a device that may or may not give off poison gas. You don't know if the cat's alive or dead until you open the box. Everybody knows that. We can eliminate th these show-offs as well. So we eliminate pretty much everyone. Anybody from these groups is a wrong cider. I... It keeps coming up with those things. I don't really know how to look at those. It's probably not important. The right answer would be to describe the experiment and then say, It was a thought experiment proposed by Schrodinger to criticize the quantum mechanical theory that state collapse only occurs after human observation. Yeah, I can't believe more middle schoolers don't know that. But barely anyone can do that, especially not in middle school. And I'd imagine I'm the only guy who's still in high school and knows that Schrodinger got the idea after exchanging letters with Einstein. Wow, you are just so special and so smart. I hate this character already. I don't know who it is. I hate wrong siders. Yeah, I hate you. I'd taken a break from investigating the two incidents that occurred recently in Shibuya, and was paging through some at channel blog aggregators for a change of pace. As always, articles about bad idols and corporations with terrible work environments were getting tons of hits. It was hard to believe that The Crash of 15, a huge news story that had just happened this month, was already off the front pages. And the people reading and commenting on these sites realized everything they read about corporations and idols was carefully controlled? Did they know that most of the big aggregator sites are corporations, too? Did they realize the comments were all manipulated to go in one direction or the other? Fascinating. Kids our age were living in a world where all the information you could ever want was right at your fingertips. To those of us in the enlightened generation, ignorance was the worst sin. 
The ignorant were self-righteous, easily manipulated, and eager to push their paper-thin worldview onto others. Well, thank God nobody here is self-righteous, right? They were nothing but a nuisance. The worst of the lot were so-called otaku. I couldn't stand otaku. They were wrongsiders. I, this is the worst character. I hate him or her. And this person, too. Why does... What the fuck is Bloodtoon? Take the picture from the cover of this magazine. It was from Bloodtoon. Any otaku just watched for the cute characters was a loser. Fucking get him, dude. There was no point in watching the show if you were going to ignore its deeper themes. Wow. I couldn't stand people who still held to the old-fashioned idea that only otaku watched anime. But people who ignored a show's themes and just watched for the cuteness were even worse. They were ignoring the implicit social criticism hidden in... Oh no, don't stop talking. No, please. We are just getting the good part. Can he eat his arm now? What? I started the magazine in amazement and apparently continued to flip pages at random. Specifically, I started the box that listed the next episode previews. The text said that Aaron was missing. <gasps> not Aaron, not uh, her, my favorite. Yeah, I know. Damn it! I'd let my guard down because I knew this episode was written by the guy who wrote the original manga. Unbelievable. How could you remove Aaron from the story halfway through? Not keeping her around meant bringing all the internal drama that had built up so far to a halt! What a fool! God damn it. So much for my change of pace. I knew I had work to do on the case, but I put it away because I couldn't find any link between the two crimes. Is he a detective? He doesn't seem like a good detective. I thought for a moment, then took my magazine from its secret stash. Oh my. It was an issue of an older magazine called Cool Cat Press. Wow. Can't believe they're not published anymore. People called it a dating guide for normies written by someone who'd never dated a girl in his life. But you'd be surprised. Uh, do, you date, do you do a lot of dating, dude? Clearly not if you are subscribing to this particular magazine. Stupid. I knew it was stupid. But... I'm gonna read it. When I ran internet search for their number one phrase, nothing came back. My god. That must mean it's real. And that was the thing. The fact that it didn't show up on the internet meant to me that it was worth something. Just because something's not on the internet doesn't mean it's worth something. In fact, the opposite's probably true. It means nobody's even bothered to post it. Really? That cannot possibly be the line, because that is fucking stupid poop garbage. From a butt. Who are we talking to? I know, I'm surprised too. Do we get to see- Oh, hey, we do get to see- I was about to ask if we ever got to see a character. She's just hanging out. Wow, she is incredibly generic looking. That's great. I turned to yell at the voice. Ooh, her mouth moves. Will wonders never cease. Welcome to the 21st century. Is she- I don't know. She's probably been here the whole time. There's not even a door over here. I had my favorite magazine behind my back and tried to calm my racing heart. It, you know, even if we've known each other since we were kids, don't just come in like that. I don't know why this isn't said out loud. It's a thought, I guess. Ah! Nope, definitely not porn. I mean, what? No. You're interesting. Did we just circle around? She's on the other side now. Or is she? Did she just walk forward from way back there? I couldn't let her find out, even though I just said the thing out loud. Oh, this was bad. Maybe she came to hang out with her very close friend who doesn't read porn alone in his trailer. Sarika frowned. Are we a member of a crime club? Also, her mouth moves like once per entire sentence. That's... that's weird. Huh, oh, that's right! Oh, uh, is it because- no? Her mouth movements are just very off-putting. I don't know. Ooh, 16 gigs! Circa took a USB memory stick out of her purse. Really? You can't transfer it yourself? You can't just take a USB and, like, do it? Whatever. Circa looked a little confused. Yeah, that's because it's full of porn... Or something else. Wow, that is brave. Even if there's not porn on it, like, she could look at your diary? I don't know, what, what do normal people have on their computers? Porn? 
That's all I've got. That's the only thing you do on computers. She didn't seem to think much of it as she started to copy the data off. Okay, now's my chance. The RV was cramped, but there was a lot of space for storage? I mean, I guess you've got cupboards up here, but, like, you need clothes and stuff, right? I pretended to make tea as I tried to find room on the top shelf. Okay, there's just enough room for one more magazine. Wow. The master of deception strikes again. And then, I heard a pew pew sound like a small fart from behind me. Incredible. Did I- did we fart? I glanced back and saw Serika was using the mouse with one hand and filling with her Jero Froggy Gororo strap with the other. Is that like a sex thing? I really hope not. This was my chance. What? The Garo Froggy Gororo strap was a soft vinyl cell phone strap I'd worn in a candy con I'd won in a candy contest when I was a kid. When you pushed its belly, it was supposed to go Garo Garo. It turned out to be an incredibly rare prize that could fetch 100,000 yen at auction. But since I was a kid who didn't know any better, I gave it to Serika as a present. Serika seemed to really like it, and ever since she'd carried it with her. Which, well, I mean, that was fine, but... This is great. It was old and faded. When you pressed its belly, air leaked out of its side and made a weird noise, like a fart. It used to go, I think, but now it just made a strange whooshing sound. Ever since she was a kid, she'd had a habit of fiddling with it, especially when she was nervous or focused on something. In other words, she was focused on the computer! Now is my chance to hide it, as you've said twice now. I mean, three times total, really. I jammed the magazine onto the shelf and moved some things so she couldn't see it. Mountain view de Iga. A mountain view. Is that a mountain dew or... What? A magazine, perhaps. I guess we'll never know, because she doesn't fucking want one. Anyways. Oh, look, now I'm immersed. This is just like my desktop. Internet escape. Yeah, dude. There were quite a few files on the screen. What crimes are we researching? Dude, she took the pictures. Yeah, that was the luck, right? She went to take pictures. Mission accomplished. Yeah, they both involved crimes. Yeah. Never mind, I got nothing, apparently. I shook my head, frustrated. Oh, hello. Okay, great. We're in a club. We're apparently in, like, high school or something. Things are going good. I also think this might actually be our character. Who knows what happened to that singing lady? We may never know. Just she was about to leave. I got an idea. What's the idea? I w hopefully we find out. I know. I need to double check my information. She was, in theory, a girl. Wow, excellent detective work. Okay, this is going well so far. I believe in you, guy. Yeah, just keep going. Sally on. I believe in you. Okay, you're already falling at the first hurdle. You've already backed out of the important part. I have no respect for you, guy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, wow. Do you hear that? That's the sound of her heartbeat racing. She's falling in love as we speak. No, that was somebody else in this trailer. Alright, Miyarashi, you're a guy. Serika thought for a second. Wow, she actually did give it thought. Let's say exactly your age. Whoa, what is happening? What is happening? Eh? Yeah, I don't know. What? What what are these? What are you saying? That's true, come to think of it. Why was it so polite anyways? I don't know. What are these? Answer the question. How come your mouth doesn't move anymore? Did you pick up ventriloquism? I mean, just like, just follow your heart, right? What are these? Or like, wow, what a loser. I'm definitely kicking him in the balls. That's what I would say. Let's say it was me, hypothetically. Wow, did you just eat your tongue? What the fuck? Ugh. What's going on here, cool cat? You lied to me. It would depend on the person asking the question. Of course it would! What were those? They just fucking showed up and disappeared? Was I supposed to click them? 
Maybe I should have clicked. I don't know. If they come up again, I'll try clicking them next time. But before we find out what this woman forgot, I'm going to draw this episode to a close. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and be sure to next week to find out what she forgot. I'll see you guys then.